Curious the hash rate and power consumption of an RTX 3080 on Ergo? Let's find out. Welcome everyone, Rabbit here. Today we're going to be checking out the RTX 3080 FTW3 Ultra from EVJ that we picked up the other day. We're going to test some power consumptions and hash rates with this card onto um, Ergo. Now, the other day we did find out that this card is using a little more power than other 3080s when it does come to Ethereum. If you haven't seen that video, please check it out. I'll have a little link up in the top corner right about now. But yeah, anyway. So after you're done seeing that, then come and watch this one. But hit that subscribe button, like button, all the good stuff that goes along with liking a channel, a YouTuber, video, anything that goes along with it. We do have a fancy join button in the bottom right corner as well. For this test, obviously we are using our test bench here. We got our watt meter plugged in right there and I'll swap over the desktop when we do our desktop, desktop stuff for HiveOS and whatnot. And obviously we're gonna be using the camera when we look at our power meter. So. Yeah, let's get this test started. I got to stop solo mining over there so that we can get into our desktop and not be lagged right out. So let's get into this. So for this test, we are obviously using HiveOS. That is what I use for almost all my mining unless it's being done on my desktop. So we're in HiveOS. I'm at my flight sheets here. And first things first, when you do try to use MB Miner, it will not let you. It is not actually in uh, the list here. I have to go to show all, find MB Miner, and then you get an error. It pops all this up so it's quite simple all you got to do is simply click in here for the command prompt copy and paste your actual ergo address that you get from your pool I'll show you where that is so apply changes so in configure pool here ultimately you just copy this line here and I pasted it into our config there apply that update and we are all set to go to start mining ergo uh, we just got to find it. There it is. NB miner, hero miners. Now, if I was going to mine this full time, I'll probably swap over to like say uh, Wooly Pooly or something like that because they do support Ergo mining. So, uh, if I do swap all my miners over there, I'll probably go with Wooly Pooly. But for this test, we are using hero miners because that's what my other cards are on on my CPU mining rigs. And ultimately, once I get to a payment, I might switch. So, we have all that set up. Now we're just going to hit the rocket button here, and that does engage your flight sheet, which turns on your miner and sends it to the moon. There we go. Let's take a look at some power consumptions. A couple things I usually do before I actually start my test is I click on the tab here to bring up our overclocks. I'm starting with the exact same overclocks as Ethereum as I think they're pretty much the same type of settings. But we'll go through a couple other ones and see. But I go to popular presets and I go into Ergo here. And there you can see what some people are using. So this guy is using 1060 on the core, 2100 memory, and a power limit of 250. Now, as we know, Ergo uh, does not need as much power as uh, Ethereum does. And we set a power limit of 224 when it does come into uh, Ethereum mining. So this guy is way up there. So I don't know if it's a silicon lottery thing or what. So we're going to stay at 224. Obviously, he's using 1060, 21, and we've been using... Uh, 1070 and or yeah 1070 and 2400 on our mem so we don't we're not going to use any of these guys as settings next up i always go to what to mine i click on the 3080 and here we have it is estimating 190 mega hash at 180 watts so these are numbers i do try to shoot for and we'll see if we actually come close to getting those or not now you can see we're at 197.8 mega hash again 80 percent fan uh, 1070 core, 2400 mm, and a power limit of 224. Now we are only using 160 watts, it says. So technically, I could drop this 224 down to 161, and we will be all right. But we're going to check some powers now first. So we have 197.8 mega hash, and our power is about 200 and 100, 202 watts full system. Now our system here, it does use about 20 watts, so everything else is the card. So subtract 20 off that. So we're at about 281 watts, 282 watts precisely. And I do got to clarify that my math is horrible. That is 181 to 182 watts, not 281 or 282 because that would just be really bad. <laughs> Before we do change, change anything, I do want to point out 197.8 mega hash at 182 watts is 1.08 mega hash per watt. So that is extremely well, but let's see if we can tune this a little better, whether it's more mega hash or a better uh, mega hash to watt ratio. Now we're back in what to mine. So 
we're at 180 some watts we're about at the 180 watt mark that it was predicting but as you can see 190 watts and we are above that we're at 197.8 so we're doing better in what the mine is telling us that we can do so let's just do a little bit of tweaking here and see what exactly could happen so i did up the core up to 1200 everything else is still the same memory 2400 and 224 power limit and we do run in at about 209 watts which puts us down to about 188 watts 189 watts 198.9 mega hash at 189 watts does work out to be 1.05 mega hash per watt so increasing the core uh, ultimately we did lose mega hash per watt ratio and we do want to get the highest number here that is what matters when it does come to mining and power efficiency so raising the core uh, is not a good idea Okay, so now I dropped it down to 1,000 core from 1,200. Our original number was 1070, which we do use for Ethereum. That's all I changed. We just dropped the core to see if it would do anything. And now we're looking at 197, 196 to 197 watts. So that is about 177 watts, we'll say. Bring it down to here. So 184.1 mega hash by 177 watts does work out to be 1.04 mega hash. So we kind of see where we're playing around in here. So initially we went up from 1070 to 1200 to see if that would do anything. And uh, we lost some and then we dropped it down quite a bit. I like to do a big gap up and a big gap down to see where they do. And then we tweak it. Then I go about 50%. So now I'm going to go about 1035 to 1040 on the core and see what kind of number we come around. Because then you start doing your small increments and then you can just fine tune a lot better. That's why I say though, I do a big jump on each one first, just so you can see what it wants to do. Then I cut it in half and bring it closer to where we were, and then we just fine tune the core from there. And then we'll work on the memory at that point. So we bumped the core up a little bit to 1040, which is 30 underneath our initial starting that we use for Ethereum. And again, everything else is exactly the same. So our power here is bouncing from 198, 199 to 200. So ultimately that is about 180 watts that we are using, 204 there. But yeah, so we're gonna go with 200, so 180. And that does work out with 192.4 mega hash at 180 watts is 1.06 mega hash. So this is our second best so far. So ultimately it's looking like 1070 is probably the best. I'm gonna go with 1060 and see exactly what could happen here. But I'm thinking 1070, Ethereum, uh, settings at least core wise is probably what we're going to run with before I do change I just want to point out I do let it run in the back end here for a little while so it's st st uh, steady at the same mega hash so you can see 192.4 192.4 9192.4 so we know that it is keeping this it's stable out it's not bouncing around so these are the mega hash numbers not just as it quickly jumps there so I'm just letting you know that it is uh, stable and steady at that one mega hash when we do write down my numbers here for you here we are at 1060 everything else is the same we'll look at our power so we're sitting at 200 to 201 this one pretty much sits stable at 200 the whole time so we're pretty much 180 watts still just off a of 10% core gain it actually dropped for a second there so we went with 180 again, so 195.1 mega hash at 180 watts with 1060 core is 1.08 mega hash per watt, which is what 1070 was bringing us here. We're getting slightly bit more mega hash, so ultimately for the pain, same consumption, I'll bump it back to 1070 and we'll just double check that it does stay at 197.8. Just to clarify, here we are at the 197.8 at 1070 core again. Everything exactly the same that we initially started with. And again, the 201 to the 202 mark. So 182 watts. And that is what we started with. 197.8, 182 watts, 1.08 mega hash per watt. So this is our current best core setting. Now let's uh, dip into the memory a little bit, see if it does anything. And then we'll adjust the power limits and ultimately this video will come to an end for Ergo. I shot the memory up to 2600 from 2400 and ultimately we are the same mega hash and uh, the same type of power consumption. So just like Ethereum, raising my memory anything above 2400 doesn't really seem to do anything. Maybe with a little bit of core it might. So I'm going to add a little bit of core just to see if that does increase our hash rate and push it over the 200 mega hash mark. 
We went 1200 core here, 2600 memory, and we gained point, what were we at? We were at 197.8, so we gained like 1.2 mega hash, but our power did go up uh, 209 to 210. I did see 214 a couple times. We're not gonna calculate it because ultimately we dropped efficiency because we didn't really gain anything except for power. <laughs> okay, but guys, uh, so this part is kind of interesting me right now. So we're at 197.8 mega hash, which is what we first started with. Okay, that's all good. We're at our 1070 normal core, but we did drop 200 memory. So we're at 2200 memory now from our 24. Now, if I would have done this on Ethereum, we would have lost mega hash. So uh, ultimately, this is starting. We're going to do more tests, obviously, but this is starting to show me that we are not as high memory intensive as Ethereum is, which is why some of those 3080 Ti tests we have been seeing, Ergo has been coming out pretty good. So maybe that is why Ergo is tricking that limiter on like the 3060 and other things is that is not quite 100% all memory. So it's somewhere in the middle. We're going to drop this some more and see if anything does change. Ultimately, again, same power as before, 201 to 202. Uh, if it goes back up there or not. Now it wants to hang out at 201. But anyway, mostly it's around 202. But that is what we were getting with our 1070 2400 mem here. So again, very interesting. Let's tweak this memory down a little bit more and see what happens. Okay, guys, so we are down to 2000 memory. We are still at 197.8 mega hash. Same power consumption. So again, less memory is still key to us. I'm just gonna put it here so you guys can see that 197.8, 197.8, 197.8. This is stable at 197.8 again. So it is all good going on here. So uh, I said so too many times. It don't matter, I'm kinda of getting excited here. So memory, let's drop this down some more. Ultimately with those GDDR6X GPUs, uh, the ones that are overheating, you might not have to run as much mem as we've been thinking. This may be more of a core uh, algorithm or ultimately it's just easier on your GPUs because they are promoting that almost any GPU can mine this algorithm. This is actually getting quite interesting for me. Let's just do a big drop here. I'm going to drop that down to 1500 and we'll see what happens. Okay guys, so we are at 1500 memory and we are still not losing any mega hash. Uh, our power consumption is still the same 201 to that 202 mark if it ever jumps. I hope you guys trust me. It, it's the same power. <laughs> but yeah, look at 1500 memory. I'm just going to go in here so you can see it. Uh, 197.8, 197.8, 197.8. So we're using less memory now than what a lot of people do use on Ravencoin. I'm just going to go in here right now. I'm going to type in Raven here or check it out. Okay, I'll type it in. RV. Uh, I got the thing there. So people are using 2100 memory on Ravencoin with 1100 core. So I am below Ravencoin memory. So ultimately... This is why the 3080 Ti, we can consider Ergo possibly a middle ground, non-memory intensive algorithm that needs a little more core. I don't know, I'm gonna keep tweaking this down and see what I can bring it down, but I'm pretty excited and this is why we are probably seeing Ergo used to trick the 3060 as well as the 3080 Ti hashing away so good on this algorithm. Okay guys, so we finally lost a little bit of mega hash here, we're at 197.6. So we only lost 0.2 mega hash, but I am down all the way to 1200 memory. Now if that was in Windows, that'd be a what? Plus, that'd be 600 memory on Windows. So that is not much overclocking at all. So ultimately, I don't know, let's try dropping this right down to, you know what, I'll just go to 600 and see what it does, just because. Okay, so here I am, 600 memory. I do have to hit the refresh button here. So we're down to 196.1. So not too bad at all. Uh, memory affects Ravencoin and Conflux a lot more than it affects Ergo, as, you, uh, as we are finding out right here. So ultimately, uh, that is why uh, mining limited edition cards are not being seen to be affected by Ergo. Although that does turn out that the AIB version, that Dizzy Mining, he didn't quite have the hash rates on his 3080 Ti, I believe, but uh, yeah, I don't know, interesting stuff here, but we're only at 600 memory. I'm just gonna go straight to zero and see what happens. So here we are with zero memory. We did lose, we're at 193.2. Now on an algorithm like this, we lost what? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we lost like five mega hash on an algorithm that's double what eth is. So really that is not much mega hash at all with zero memory. So minor overclocks is all that's needed here. Like if you're in Windows, 3, 350 mega hash on the, or mega hash, uh, 
tweaking on the memory is all you're going to need. Hive OS 6, 650, uh, because it's double of Windows, is all you're going to need. Ultimately, uh, saving your card from the high temperatures on the memory, because we are hardly using any memory when it comes to Ergo mining. So that is interesting. I always thought it was memory based, kind of like Ethereum, but turns out it is not. Okay guys, so there we have it. I went back up to about 1200 memory just to bring us back to 197.6. Ultimately, I'm just gonna run 1200. That's half of what we use on Ethereum, which I was using 2400. So, and I'm only down 0.1 mega hash. So ultimately, this seems like the settings for my 3080. Let me know how your guys' cards are doing and if you should attempt dropping your memory and everything down like this. And I'm curious how your guys will react. If you are in Windows, uh, 1200 memory from HiveOS is a plus 600 uh, using MSI Afterburner in Windows. So that pretty much sums up this video. We do about 197 point, I guess, six mega hash now with 1070 core and only, we're getting rid of this, only 1200 memory. So that looks like the optimal settings for me. We are using, again, 202 watts full system. So 182 watts coming from the card. This is an EVGA uh, RTX 3080 FTW3 Ultra. This is not the TI card. This is just the standard non-limited version stuff. But we've seen those 30, there was 3080 TI tests coming out where they were hashing away like crazy on ergo algorithm and i assume this is why is you do not need much memory so the uh ethereum nerf miners the lhrs are record uh set i guess to measure uh memory based algorithms like ethereum ethereum classic and whatnot so they do get their half hash rate nerfed now ergo seems like it does not need the memory that ethereum needs so you can mine ergo no problem on those lhr cards uh, so far anyway that we've seen and now testing this card out we can kind of see why is the the, uh, the memory is not really needed I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm not sure how long it is I thought it was going to be a quick one but then we hit found out about that memory thing and it just took off from there anyway thanks for watching guys hit that subscribe button like button good stuff thumbs up and I'll catch you on the next one rabbit out Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please consider watching one of these other videos, hitting that subscribe button, hitting that like button. We do a live stream every Sunday, and Discord link is in the description as well. Thanks, everybody, again, and Rabbit out.